Welcome to Britain's newest space centre, the Bangos the Theory rocket test base at the Buckinghamshire Railway Centre. When you think spaceflight, think NASA, Apollo, space shuttles and a couple of billion quid to burn. But there's a new game in town. Gone are NASA's billion dollar rockets. The future is from the supermarket. Toffee powered rockets built for peanuts. I'm going to build myself a rocket bike and I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to be the cheapest manned rocket mission ever. Apollo style rockets were hideously complex, but hybrid rockets just require a cheap solid that burns and a gas to provide oxygen. And that will make it burn more fiercely. The power of a rocket is largely dependent on the calorific value of the fuel. And there aren't many things with a higher calorific value than toffee. So a burnable solid and an oxidising gas make a ferocious flame. And that's what fuels a hybrid rocket. <laughs> Hybrid rockets aren't just cheap and cheerful, they're relatively safe too. Old liquid rockets wanted to blow up as soon as you looked at them. And solid fuel rockets, like fireworks, once lit can never be stopped. The idea of a hybrid rocket is really simple. Given enough oxygen, almost anything will burn, even this plastic tube. All I need to do is fire a gas down the middle and ignite the walls of the tube itself so it becomes the fuel, and that is the essence of a hybrid rocket. A huge safety advantage of hybrids is their controllability. It might be two and a half thousand degrees in there, but as soon as we shut off the oxygen supply, the thrust drops right off. Great, but you still have to treat them with an enormous amount of respect. This bit of two inch diameter steel water pipe is what's gonna be the main body of my rocket. This is where it's gonna have the highest pressure and it's just about good for that. Now, in the center of this, it's gonna be cast a whole load of toffee. Now that toffee is gonna to have a hole right down the middle of it. And the purpose of that hole is so that I can fire high pressure nitrous oxide gas in there. That means when the toffee set alight, the entire internal surface of that hole can start burning, gets to a phenomenal temperature, and the internal pressure of this gets very, very high indeed. You might not think toffee is a rocket fuel, but burn it with high pressure nitrous oxide, laughing gas to you and me, and it's pretty impressive. Whoa. After just 10 seconds of burn, the heat and pressure was too much for the steel. The weak point is just exactly there at the throat of the nozzle. It's hosing out plasma everywhere. I can't sit on a bike with that behind me. The burn through always happened at the narrowest part of the nozzle. And after a few experiments, I had a design that I hoped would hold together just long enough. I was ready to risk my life. Old fire extinguisher, full of nitrous oxide. Release valve, operated by brake lever. Plumbing pipe, filled with toffee. Burnt and accelerated through here at Mach 5. What could possibly go wrong? Three, two, one, ignition. Ah! 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 Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Oh, that was incredible. Toffee makes amazing rocket fuel. But I think we can still cook up something better. Earlier on, I managed to build a rocket bike made entirely of high street components. But now I'm going for the big one, a toffee, peanut and aluminium powered rocket, 10 times as powerful. Now we could have launched this rocket vertically, but that's not the traditional way of testing these things. So we've built this, a rocket sled. It's even been made to satisfy the stringent demands of Her Majesty's Rail Inspectorate which is good. What's not so good is we've only got 200 metres of track to test it on. And worse still, 
30 feet over there is a main network rail line. So we've chucked a few brakes on it. We've got brakes on the wheels, we've got a parachute, and if all else fails, we've even got a hook here that picks up a large length of heavy chain. On the bike, I was kind of worried for me. This time, I'm concerned for the whole of the home counties. Let's go. The key is getting the gas flow into the toffee tube just right, hence the last minute tweaks to the plumbing. This is it, seven kilos of nitrous oxide, four foot long tubes stuffed with toffee and peanuts, and this fire button. When I press it, it goes off. First, the toffee is lit with a standard pyrotechnic. Then I hit the gas button. Three, two, one. That was absolutely awesome. Approaching 200 miles an hour, the parachute didn't stand a chance. Nor did the brakes or the chain pickup. Luckily, the buffers kind of held. <laughs> that is unreal. It's an actual train wreck. Every single braking system got ripped apart. The rocket failed to shut down. The only thing that stopped a major disaster was a tonne and a half of water. Well, now you know how a hybrid rocket works. From the supermarket to outer space. <laughs>